Okay, here I am, here I am another garden update. We've been getting so much rain lately. I swear we got maybe three, four inches the last few days, and plus there are times during last week. We have so much rain. These plants are exploding. Flower and good. We got some baby ones somewhere. Uh, probably all up here. We got some, but they're pretty hard to find because there's just so many. There's like 26 plants blending into one big one. So it looks like one giant pumpkin fest over here. It's, you can't even you can't even really tell where they came from as they grow in every different direction. So I tried. You could probably tell it's all clear over here. I may force them to grow up that way. Any leaves around here, so they don't mess with the plants. I weighed until they got big enough so I could start like, bending some things over so they don't affect the plants in the back. We're going to be getting a lot of cherry tomatoes real soon. We got some already but I can tell we're going to be getting about a bowl full pretty pretty really soon. Nice ones there. It just got done raining so everything's all wet. Nice ones there. More nice ones there. This one's These ones are monsters back here. This is where I think the chickens spent the most time before they went to the bathroom. So you can definitely tell. And mostly over here, over here, and over here. You can tell these ones are much greener in this whole direction. Right here. So we know where chickens have been staying. Some right there. Coops being built up. It's been so hard it could have been raining. Okay, let's go this way. Say hi to the chickens. Hi chickens. They're not too happy with the rain. The grapes are actually not doing that bad. We thought they were all gonna rot and fall off. Kind of like last year, but a little bit worse than last year. Grapes, we're picking them. They're good. Picking them probably by end of the week. That's great news. I thought we weren't gonna have any. Onions are looking outstandingly awesome. Peppers looking good. More peppers. The plants start falling over. The grapes. The grapes are going crazy over the top of the coop. They even gave the chickens a little bit of shade and a roof, so I'm really, really happy that's working out. But I think I'm afraid they're going to start pushing on this net, and that's just going to break, and it's not going to be the fun to put back up. So, so that's what happens down here. Okay, raspberry plant, yellow raspberry plant, red one, pretty much done. There's maybe one or two left. One, is there one there? Oh, I didn't even see that one. Nice one ready to be picked. Picking that right now. You probably eat it right now. Well, tastes amazing. Really gonna make, I'm gonna, I know I'm gonna get a lot this next year. This plant's gonna triple in size. Be just like the blueberries. I'm gonna get blueberries like crazy next year. Probably, probably gonna triple a blueberry year yield. Same with raspberries. Maybe you'll get some from this one. Hopefully, fingers crossed. It has been strawberry mania. I picked maybe 10 strawberries, so I'm gonna get picked tomorrow, if not now. Since every plant I go to, I pick strawberries, or pick something. Pick raspberries, pick grapes. It's good, I'm gonna take that and wash it off and eat it real quick. See, it doesn't really make it to the fridge because I just eat it on the way in. <laughs> I mean, my plants taste so good. My plants are doing really, really good. The rain's helping too. I just gotta weed, weed it a little bit because there's weeds starting to grow every, everywhere now. This is peach tree heaven right now. These ones actually look like they're gonna make it. I don't think I think the rot the rot um worry is over. We should get that right before they really start turning color, but now we should be picking these by the end of the week too. It's like crazy peaches. We had no time to we picked a lot off, but we didn't pick that many off because we didn't have time. And there's just so many peaches. We picked at least maybe a thousand, two thousand peaches to try to send them out. There's still so many left as you can tell. So they're not gonna get as big, but there's gonna be some that will get pretty big as normal because I did send the, breed, the branch off. Like this one right here, pretty big compared to my hand. That's, that's a normal sized peach. Some of them are gonna be big, some of them are gonna be small. Anyway, I'm gonna take it. If, we, if they work out and we actually get to eat them, I'm gonna be happy, I don't care what size they are. So another one right there. Okay, watermelon and, um, geez, I'm gonna strip. Looking good, cantaloupe looking good. Watermelon my cantaloupe. We always have a there's one right there, but there's a bigger one somewhere. That's a cantaloupe. I can't. I don't think I have any watermelon yet. I could be wrong. It's just hiding. I might need to start hand pollinating the the watermelon like, I, like I'm doing my pumpkins. These ones, the cantaloupe seem to be doing fine. Just the watermelon and uh, 
and uh, punk it. I just want to make sure that they're getting properly uh, pollinated. So these ones are looking great. Let's go over here for the last one. The blueberries are pretty much done. We, some, we got a few left. Um, not really anything special. These ones are outstandingly good to show. I did not think I'll be getting that many. Um, probably by the next video, this nest will be taken down. Because pretty much it's over till next summer, sadly. But it is what it is. Next year, we're going to get like triple the amount we got this year. So I'm real excited. Same with the raspberries. And everything seems to be going perfectly, perfectly fine. So thank you for watching. Check back next Monday for another garden update. Wednesday for a tropical plant update. And then Friday for my garden. Goodbye.